Bertram continues our Team 7 coverage. The floor here at the Road to the Convention rally is full of energy with a crowd that's very supportive of John McCain's new running mate. Thousands of fans and dozens of members of the press filled the Nutter Center this morning. This is my first time being anywhere like this, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's just exciting. Flags and glow sticks. All this rally turned rock concert needed was a beach ball. By the time Senator McCain and wife Cindy showed up, it had all the makings of a great party. But as it turned out, this was a surprise party. Governor Sarah Palin of the great state of Alaska. She's a strong conservative. She's clearly pro-life. She supports gun owners' rights. She understands that government can't spend more than it takes in. I'm speechless. I never would have thought that the Republican Party, the Republican Party of the Bush administration, would have chosen a woman. Yolanda Smith is a former Hillary Clinton supporter who's now turned away from the Democratic Party. She thinks McCain's choice could be the clincher for wavering voters like herself. I think that more than anything, I think that there are a lot of Hillary supporters who are African American who are really looking to see women get bust open that ceiling. And I think that this would be a great, great opportunity for the Republican Party to bring in African American women. Some say the announcement fortified their faith in success come November. When I listened to the Democratic Convention, I thought it looked awesome competition. Now I've got a lot of hope now. I really think we're on the right path. But for people like self-professed political junkie David Holmes, they're unsure if a history-making choice can change the voters' minds for the future. I just met her today, so, you know, we'll see. And as folks leave the Nutter Center here today, they say apart from campaigning for McCain, they now want to learn more about his new running mate, Governor Palin. In Fairborn, I'm Catherine Burch.